Hey guys, Rob Bolton here, IMX Productions, and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today we're looking at removing a graphic from a t-shirt. So if you've got a t-shirt, you've got a logo on there you want to remove, or if you've got a graphic on there and you just want to put your own design on there to use in ads and whatnot, then we're going to look at two different techniques on how to do that. Um, two distinct tools. So the first tool is going to be the fill tool. We're going to use fill with content aware. Basically, content aware is a technology de uh, developed by Photoshop that fills in an area using the information of the surrounding area. So if you got a graphic on a white shirt, it'll fill it with the white that's in the surrounding shirt. And the second tool is going to be the clone tool. Um, basically, the content aware fill doesn't always work. So for when it doesn't work, we can use the, um, the clone tool to fill in the gaps. Okay, so let's jump in right away. Okay, so here's a t-shirt. There's a nice, simple um, t-shirt here, a polo with a logo on here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the selection tool. And we're just going to circle around just like that. Nice, easy selection. We're going to come up here to edit and fill. Make sure content aware is selected. Very important. And we're going to hit OK. And then boom, just like that, it's gone. Look at that perfect. Um, you can't even tell there was a logo there. It's just gone. So now you just fill it with whatever you want. OK, so that's the content aware. Let's go back to the beginning. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the clone tool. So the clone tool, what the clone tool does is it, it basically selects an area, it samples an area, and then you use that to, um, to fill in the rest. So we're going to hit alter option and then sample something. And then we're sampling that area here. And then we're going to click over the logo and boom, it's gone. So both tools did a very good job at, at covering the logo. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on to something a little more complicated. Okay, so here we have this this um, photo here of a girl with a t-shirt. Now there's much bigger design that we want to get rid of, a lot more going on here. The first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what not to do. Okay, so the first thing is what not to do. We're going to grab the selection again. We're going to select too big of an area. Now content, the content aware is pretty good, but it's not foolproof. So I'm going to fill here, content aware, hit OK. And boom, look at that. See, it, it took some of the image that is from below here, and we don't want that. Um, so as you can see, don't try to do too big of an image, start small. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, zoom in on the O here, and we're gonna select just the O. We're actually gonna hold down Alt or Option, see that little minus, and we're gonna deselect the middle. So we're really just selecting the O and a bit of surrounding white. And then go to Edit Fill, Content Aware, hit OK, and boom. See how even that, it's still kind of messed up a little area, so we'll just fix that up. Select it, Fill, Content Aware, you get the idea, and boom. So we can just continue this way and go through letter by letter. And again, you've got your history palette, so if, you, if it kind of messes it up and it doesn't look good, you just go back and try again. And wherever, and this is the idea, this is the idea for using both tools, wherever uh, the the content aware doesn't work very well, we can use the clone tool instead. So right here, we're going to do the clone tool. So sample and see if the watch out where you sample because you don't want to sample the wrong thing and then just draw over the lettering. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so basically what you do is you're going to go along um, with both these tools and you're just going to do it until it looks good. Now this area right next to the hair here, this is an area that might be a little tough. Okay, because it kind of blends right in to, so we're gonna try with content aware. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. Uh, fill content aware, okay. Oh, actually not too bad, but it kind of messed up the hair a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix it using the clone tool. So just drop the hardness, the size, sample, and then just try in and kind of try to fix up that hair as best we can. And that's looking pretty cool right there. All right, and then we can, Sample out a bit of this. We just go back and keep using our content aware fill. And you get the idea. You just keep going this way until you've removed all the image um, from, from the photo. We're even going to do the, uh, the Apple logo here. So just select the Apple logo on the mug. This would be tough with the clone tool because the little, the, the reflection on there is very, is very specific. But as you can see using the content aware, it does a pretty damn good job. Okay, and that's it. If you like that, you can click on the link below, go to my website, you can freely download this image, this image, um, and I've already done the job, I've removed the image, and I've put in a placeholder, um, a smart object placeholder, where you can just throw in your design on the shirt and on the mug. 
And that's just, and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. We've got lots of content, a lot of tutorials, a lot of great stuff. Comment below if you like what you see. If you want to um, suggest different uh, topics for new tutorials, do that please and hit that little bell so you get notified when we update something new. All right, we'll see you next time. Cheers.